covered extensively the decade-long battle to get algebra added back into public middle schools in San Francisco. Because of that reporting, we were contacted by parents and teachers from the school district next door in South San Francisco. They were deeply concerned that their district was moving in the wrong direction. So Devin Feely joins us with those details and more. Add yeah. it up. Yeah, Jules, my big takeaway from covering both of these stories is who knew, I mean, really, who knew that debates over middle and high school math could generate such division within a school community. People on both sides of this debate believe that they're doing what's best for kids. And the reason is these decisions are so hotly debated is because they can set kids up for success or failure in middle school, high school, college, and beyond. The advanced math in seventh grade was a stepping stone into Algebra 1. Grace Ree is both a middle school math teacher and the parent of a middle school student. And both halves of her identity are wholly in agreement that the changes the South San Francisco School District is thinking about making to its math curriculum are not a formula for success. As an educator and as a mom, I will try my best as a math teacher to help my son supplement with those resources. However, this is not just about my son, it's about all of my students. At Alta Loma, where Grace teaches, the school's top math students often take a special summer course, followed by an accelerated seventh grade math class, combining two years of instruction into one, which in turn sets them up for the rigors of algebra in the eighth grade. Grace says the first sign of trouble was when the district cut the summer class. As an educator, I, as a parent, would like to ask, why take away that take away something that has been so beneficial and so crucial. A spokesperson for the school system was insistent that the district is not getting rid of eighth grade algebra, simply changing how students get there, steering most middle schoolers towards an accelerated eighth grade math class. In a prepared statement, the superintendent says the district's goal is to, quote, ensure that students develop a firm and comprehensive grasp of foundational math skills before moving into algebra. But math teachers like Barbara Hahn, who spent decades in the classroom, say the district's tinkering with something that's not broken. Without the kids being in advanced seventh grade um, before they get into algebra, there's, there's no way they're going to get it. The district still has to make a final formal decision about the changes. In the interim, Grace says she will continue to fight for her son and her students against a system she believes will not add up to success. And being able to give all my students a voice when they cannot be heard. The district is still working out some of the details about how they're going to implement this next year. Opponents hope there is still time to convince the district to change course. Oh boy, it is a topic that you don't want to get in the middle of. It's pretty sticky, but how do they measure success? Well, right now, not every single eighth grader does do algebra. So that's going to be the first thing. Do more students make it to algebra under this new system? And then how do they perform if they do? Yeah, all right.